the, the gym sucks. It's pointless. All the weight, all the, you don't need all that to look good and look muscular. Trust me, all you gotta do is five push-ups at night, eat good, and you're gonna look like this. And you'll save all that money from having to pay that gym membership that these major corporations want every month. I'm done with the gym, and I recommend you stop. Okay, I'm sorry. I okay. I'm, I'm kind of sorry for the clickbait. Obviously, I want to know how many of you guys actually believe that. Comment down below and leave a like. But I wanted you to see this video because I think it's important. Because today, what I want to do is cover the top five reasons why most people think the gym sucks and they just stop going. The excuses that they put and how you can overcome them. Because the reality is, boys, the gym, the gym is a great place if you want to be healthy and build a great physique. So if that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. <laughs> The first reason why most people stop going to the gym is because of muscle soreness. Some guys have never worked out in their life, they have never experienced this pain, and after the first time they do, they are either turned off of never wanting to go again, or they think they injured themselves, which leads to them not going again. The point is though that this muscle soreness comes from the fact that your muscle fibers were torn during your workout. Now they are repairing themselves and they're becoming bigger, stronger, and more capable for the next time you hit that workout. I.e. this is a good sign and you overloaded your muscles and you're making gains. However, if you're a newbie and you wanna learn how to deal with this, there isn't something that just solves it like a pill or anything like that, but there are things you can do to make it less painful. Like, you can stretch every day. You can also apply ice to the muscles that are more sore, or you can take a hot shower or go in for a massage. Either of these will kind of help relieve the pain and usually the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. And some guys, kind of like myself, I kind of actually like it. The second reason why people hate the gym is the excessive sweating and the chafing that occurs. Obviously, when you go to the gym, there's a lot, and I mean a lot of sweating that's going to occur, especially in your ball and your butt region. And if you're overweight or even if you're not, all these movements that you're going to be doing can lead to excessive chafing in different parts of your body. And I understand it. I get it. It can get uncomfortable. But this is why I always carry my chassis powder with me in my gym bag every time I go to the gym. Because our sponsor chassis focuses just on that. Making grooming products to solve problems for guys down there that most big names don't even cover or completely forget about. For example, if your problem is swamp balls and swamp ass and you just completely want to neutralize that or avoid that while you work out this chassis ball powder is the best powder in the market for that and don't take my word for it literally go to amazon and look at the insane reviews that this product has hundreds and hundreds of them so when you get this apply a bit before going to the gym and first of all off the bat you're gonna feel a cooling sensation which feels kind of nice but also watch how it keeps you refreshed and comfortable down there even as you start sweating and working out you stay dry and cool all this because this product is packed with ingredients like aloe vera and baking soda to help soothe the skin but also absorb and neutralize any funky odors in other words your boys stay fresh and this powder doesn't get all muddy or anything like that and the secret behind this powder is their patent technology that unlike other powders that get all muddy this stuff doesn't it remains dry no matter how much you sweat on the other hand if your problem is a lot of uncomfortable chafing that's understandable then you want to use chassis body primer this is a shower primer that you use in the shower in the morning what you basically do is you apply it onto your skin leave it off like 30 seconds or so and then wash it off and notice just how smooth and gentle your skin's gonna be the point of that is to reduce friction between your skin whether it's between your thighs your armpits or anywhere your skin rubs and that's gonna avoid any chafing throughout the day so if you guys want to check out these chassis powders to make your gym experience more comfortable and just defeat swamp ball swamp ass or chafing there's gonna be a link down below with the code that you guys can check out and just see why these products are so amazing. Third reason why people think the gym sucks is because of gym bros. If you're a noob, you probably hate gym bros because these are the guys that walk around and string muscle tees like they own the gym, looking down at all the newbies and grunting excessively for every lift even though they're only benching like 200 pounds. And I get it, you're just starting out. This could be intimidating. And it's already as tough as it is for you to make the decision of going to the gym. Now, you don't wanna be judged on top of that. But here's the thing you need to understand. One, almost nobody likes the gym douche. So you're not alone. And two, this is a great way to build mental toughness. The world isn't sunshine and rainbows and most often than not to grow in anything, you're gonna have to get uncomfortable. So, toughen up, 
Focus on yourself, plug in your music, and just tune out the rest. Gym Bros is never an excuse to not go to the gym. The fourth reason why people think the gym sucks is because it's expensive. I've heard this one about a thousand times in emails. Jose, I want to build a body like yours, but the gym is too pricey. I can't afford it. Still not an excuse because you can try other franchises like Planet Fitness or smaller ones that offer deals as low as $10 a month. That, that's only 30 cents a day. And if you're still saying, Jose, that's too much. And then I have about four videos that you can watch right up here that are all free videos. You can do at home fitness programs that require no equipment and you can still get physical and get healthy. And on top of that, you can do a quick Google search and there'll be countless, hundreds of other guys giving you the same advice with different routines. Point is, it being expensive is not excuse for not working out. And finally, the fifth reason why people think the gym sucks is because it's just confusing. This is probably one of the most valid ones on this list because I can understand. You have zero gym experience and all of a sudden you step into an adult jungle gym and you have no idea where to start. This is not only intimidating, it can also be dangerous. So I always recommend you have a game plan. Don't just walk into the gym blindly. A simple gym workout Google search will yield you hundreds of different workout programs with visuals, a proper form that you can screenshot so when you go to the gym, you have a framework you can start with and see if it works for your body type. Chances are, since you're a newbie, almost any fitness program is going to work for you and you'll start seeing immediate progress. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Chassis. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.